Okay, next up in our series on PWAs, I want to talk about web manifest files. So these are the setting files for your application. They describe things like what's the home page for your app? What's the theme color? What are the launcher icons? What do they look like? What's the name of the app? All these types of settings and more are going to be found in this file. It's just like if you're building a Cordova app, you're going to have a config.xml file, or if you're building an Android app, there's an Android manifest.xml file. So these settings files, we need to put those inside of our website. So I've got a very simple website here with just a few files, but right at the root level, we're going to have this file that we call manifest.json, or you can call it web.manifest if you want. So manifest or JSON file extensions, either of those are fine. Um, you're going to add a link tag up inside the head of your web page where you say the relationship is manifest and here is the URL of the manifest file. Now I've got a link here to the MDN reference. Um, I'll leave a link to this in the description as well as a link to the uh, HTML file here and a link to uh, my copy of my manifest file that I'm going to show you. So there's a bunch of required properties small set of required properties really and then we've got a bunch of optional ones that we can add if we want so the required ones you need to have a name or short name or both this is going to be the name of your application what is it going to be called when somebody installs it what's going to be written below the icon and that's another one of the required icons this is an array of a whole bunch of objects that look like this so what is the source of the image what size is it? What is the file type? Is it a JPEG? Is it a PNG? You should make it a PNG. Um, this is an optional one here, purpose maskable. This tells Android when it installs it, if it can put those rounded corners, if it can mask and give the rounded corners to the square for the icon. Uh, start URL. This is what is the home page for your application? And then display. How should it look when the person has added it to their home screen? When they click on it to launch it, should it look like the browser? This is your default, what you get when you open a web page. Um, full screen, so we're stripping off the Chrome, the stuff up at the top here, the, uh, the menus, things like that, those are being stripped off. Standalone, this is what makes it look like a native application. So standalone is the one you're probably going to want to have for a PWA. Minimal. It's like standalone or full screen, except it actually will remove some of the options for navigation. So things can get removed from the menu as well. So standalone is your best option for a PWA. And we can see here is my manifest.json file. And I've got all of these sort of required ones, the name, short name, display, start URL. And you'll note that I'm starting all of them with the forward slash, meaning at the root folder. So where this is found, this is the root of my folder where my website sits and index.html, that's my starter page right here. The images are inside of an image folder and I've got a whole bunch of different images. There's a whole bunch of different sizes. Now for the optional parameters, we've got quite a few of those. The background color. This is going to be on my page in behind. Now the browser by default is going to have that white background behind everything. If you don't set a color on the body or the HTML element, we can actually set that. What do we want to use as the background color? The theme color up on the Chrome up at the top. What's the theme that's going to be applied? Description. When you're adding your app, when it's searched by the search engines, um, the description will be used to describe the app. So it's kind of like setting up a description in the HTML file. You can add a meta tag for description as well. Same sort of idea. You're describing what the app is. Orientation. These are all the different values. They're not supported across all the browsers, but it's the default orientation for launching your application. Lang language. So you can put in a value here to say that it's specifically this language is what the application is. Prefer related applications. Now this is if you do have a native version of the application. So I've got my PWA, but I've also got an Android app or I've got an Android and an iOS app. And I want somebody who launches this one to know that, you know, 
we do actually have a native one, and that's the one that I would prefer you to use. Unlikely that you would put the effort into building this and then also have that, but if you do, maybe this is a stripped down version of the, uh, the full native one. If that's the case, you can set this to true, and then with the related applications property, you can actually provide what are the URLs for those to take the person to the appropriate Play Stores. Uh, screenshots. If you are installing applications, so if you're using this in a store, um, you can actually provide screenshots of the application so somebody can see it in that store. Shortcuts. This is actually pretty useful. If you have a context menu that opens up, so if you do a long press and it opens up a context menu where the person goes to the settings menu for the application for the browser, um, inside of there, you can provide a whole bunch of links that take you to appropriate places. Now, there's no way you can control what the interface does, but it provides the information to the browser so that it can choose how to render these best, just to give somebody a little bit of extra uh, support for the navigation. The icons here, you'll note it is an array. Inside of here, it's the same object that we had up here for the icons that we were using for our launcher icons. Okay, and that's it. That is the web manifest file. So like I said, I'm going to provide a link to this in the description. I'll provide a link to the HTML. So you have that list of properties like here. And the link to the MDN reference right here will also be in there. If you have any questions, feel free to leave those in the comments down below. And as always, thanks for watching.